Okay, good morning. My name is Marty Carrick and my wife Julie, she is uh, uh, using a camera to, to film this. We're the authors of a book called Losing It, which outlines how we lost a total of 12 stones between us. Today I'm going to be making some cauliflower mash. I'll just put this to one side. In this colander here, I've got two large cauliflowers which I've cooked until the cauliflower is soft. Uh, the one of it, uh, you can see this really soft there. I've allowed it to cool and I'm going to put them in this magic mix blender and I'm going to make it into a cauliflower mash. So I'll put it all in here. I've cut the cauliflower into florets as you can see, little florets like that. So we just put it all into the blender or the magic mix like that. Just put it all in. Sorry about the noise. We put a big knob of butter in, like this, and some salt, a pinch, which is about a, t a teaspoonish, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. You can adjust that later when you taste it. Some nice black pepper. And you put the lid on. Just blend this until you get a really nice smooth consistency, just like mashed potato. So I'll continue blending that until it's finished. Okay, now we've uh, finished blending this, and it's absolutely silky smooth as you can see now, just like mashed potatoes. And what we do is we store this in these. Uh, reusable boxes and just put it into these boxes like this and uh, and then we uh, then we freeze them we just put a little uh, a little note onto the box there that says what it is and when it's frozen and we can get these out and um, use them any time we want you can add things to it like grated nutmeg a little bit of cumin or some curry powder um, just just depending on what you want to use it for we use it for to put on shepherd's pie, uh, vegetable pie. It's absolutely beautiful to make for champ and that's where you add um, spring onions in it or some sauteed leeks and it's absolutely lovely. You can add some cheese to it to make a cauliflower cheese mash and all it is is cooked cauliflower, butter, salt and pepper and you can add whatever flavorings you like to it. And that's it, thank you very much.